I'm Dr. Sean Britton in the Department of Physics and Astronomy in the College of Science. Fairly regularly, you'll get folks who either call or will send an email in to various faculty in the department, including myself, asking about rocks they find. You know, is this a meteor, a meteorite, or is it something else? And usually it's not. But this one, when she sent me an email, she sent pictures of it, very detailed photographs. I could tell by looking at them that this was something interesting. And so I talked to my colleagues about it, uh, forwarded the pictures onto them, and we uh, looked at them and concluded that yes, this was indeed a meteorite. Every day we were getting hit by uh, meteors, hundreds of tons enter our atmosphere. Uh, the majority of them burn up, and that's what we see as shooting stars. When you're seeing a shooting star, what you're seeing is a rock falling into our atmosphere and burning up. These things are moving at like 100,000 miles an hour. When they enter our atmosphere, and then they decelerate from the wind resistance or air resistance and uh, down to basically their terminal velocity. So if they don't break up, they're moving about 200 miles an hour when they hit the ground. And we get uh, fairly regularly some kind of uh, rocks will make it to the surface of the earth. And most of it, you know, it lands in the water no one ever notices or it lands in some uninhabited region, a forest or uh, some very remote area and no one's the wiser. Finding one like this in your own backyard is very rare and having something hit your house is very rare as well.